hey there everybody how y'all doing hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night and welcome back to my channel as always i'm deluxe all right let's do the freaking transformer review because i love some freaking transformers and today we'll be taking a look at x transbot this is bulwark uh, this is their version of a, you know, kind of a bulkhead from animated to a G1 style. Um, Hasbro did it and also New Age did it as well. Um, I like both of those. Uh, this one, I passed on it for a little while and I forgot all about it. But then I saw it on Big Bad Toy Store for like 80 bucks. It was like originally 130, 140. So I was like, eh, I'll give it a try. Uh, I've never messed with this uh, mold. I think it's a, you know, a heavy retool of the Inferno and Grapple mold. Uh, but yeah, looks pretty cool. This is the uh, nice artwork right there. You got this up here on the side, looks good, bulwark. And then you got this. Now if you wanna pause for the cause and read that, you are more than welcome to. Nice artwork, love it, kind of G1 thing going on. And it says, where there is no struggle, there is no strength. All right, cool. And then underneath, there you go. All right, so uh, let's take a quick look what he comes with. All right, first thing first, he does get a nice little card, it's a nice little thick stock. It says bulwark, same artwork in the front. And then more likely this says what it says on the box, but you can read it if you want to. And then you got some stats. Pretty cool. All right, instructions. Very nice. Okay. You know, decent instructions. Okay. Show you everything. Nice pictures. And the only thing that comes with is a gun. And it's nicely painted. It's got like a gunmetal silver, gunmetal gray. Nice little sculpt. But yeah, you can see kind of a sheen to it. So they painted the weapons. You know, x transbots does really well with their paint, so really excited for that. So there you go. That is all he comes with. Whee! All right, and here is x transbots bulkhead. I'll just call him bulkhead. And um, he's kind of a military, uh, you know, um, military carrier thing. And it uh, looks good. Uh, I mean, it looks really good. The paint on this is spectacular. All this green is painted. I like that. You got the cab. Like I said, I've never messed with this mold uh, with the, you know, X-Trans boss. Like I said, it's Inferno and Grapple and everything. But nice tinted out black windows. I love that. You got the nice green. You got the nice chrome up here for the bumper. Looks good. The white and the kind of an orange peaches kind of color. You got the red right here. Translucent red. And you got the little fog horns or anything. Very nice. You got these little mirrors, the little side mirrors. They do move. So that's pretty cool. And then they got uh, the tires are all rubber. You got the nice green paint right there. You can open up the doors, just like most with Angtrans bots. They, you know, emphasize for the interior, which I could care less about. But you know, it's there. Uh, you can get the nice steering wheel, a nice seat, and everything. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, both sides of them open up there. Uh, you got these little um, uh, stabilizers. Uh, they do come out, but they're supposed to expand, but they're on a, like a little ball peg and it always pops off. So I don't even work really that well, but gun metal right there, all this green, you got the white star, the windows. I love the nice little, um, details right here. The painted, you know, weapon or not weapons, but tools, you got the ax, you got a shovel and everything. That is cool with the yellow, you know, triangle. That is nice. Nice little details right there. I like that. Tons. It's got tons of die cast on this. It's got a nice weight to it. You can knock out a teenager with it. So that's pretty cool. Then up top, you got the like the vents or you know anything like that. Vents, and then you got the gates or something. That is pretty cool. All this is painted green, nicely done. I like it. On the back, you got the nice ladder, nice door, red for the tail lights. Looks good. Very nice. And on the side, other side, same thing. Like I said, you got these um, stabilizers, but they really don't work that well. So, but nice red right there. Underneath, you like to see that kind of thing. But yeah, nicely done. It rolls just fine really good now you can store the weapon if you lift up if you get untab right here and you lift this up you have the two options you have us two slots over here and you can put the weapon right there if you want and then close it back up good to go but yeah beautiful beautiful alt mode i like it looks good and here he is next to fans toys jazz and then you got the alternators hot rod over there he's a big boy so there you go there's some scale for you
All right, let's take a quick look at X-Transbot's bulkhead. All right, head sculpt. Um, I wish they would have used the New Age one. I'll show you right here. Um, I don't hate this one. I, I think it looks pretty cool, you know, with the animated one. He's got the Jay Leno chin, but kind of wish they would have used the New Age one. would have been a little better for me, uh, but do like it. Nicely painted, gunmetal silver, gunmetal silver for everything else. Looks good. The blue eyes, not sure I like those blue eyes. Look good. The green, the paint on this is spectacular. x Transbots does a great job. All right, you can look down a little bit, not much. The chin gets in the way. You can look up a little bit as well, side to side. There you go, very nicely done. I love the chromed out, everything. You got the front of the uh, cab and everything looks good. All right, you got the arms. You got the nice ratcheted out, uh, you know, for that. Love, Daddy loves some ratchets. This is very, very, very loud. And uh, there you got the ratchets going there. You go all the way around, looks good. You got a nice elbow bend, looks good as well. You got a bicep swivel as well. There you go. You do have a backward, uh, backwards and a forward butterfly, um, little soft ratchets. That's good. Uh, one of the issues with mine is this tolerance right here is not that good. It doesn't tab in that well because of the um, little, you know, hose that comes out. Uh, I wish that, you know, it's got that spring loaded action, but kind of wish that's a big, big uh, negative for me. Um, you got a swivel of the hand. You got the booger picker. It's on a one, uh, you know, a hinge right there. With the at the uh, knuckle the thumb is on a ball peg you can move around like that and each finger you can move individually uh, but still got the you know the kind of the curved look i wish it would have could you know go a little straighter but yeah that i had to fix that right there because this one on this side is, is a little better you know it's still good it still comes on tabbed but um this one's pretty bad um it can't even really close that well so uh but i love the dark green the forest green looks good you got a waist swivel Looks good. No ad crunch. Kind of wish they would have done an ad crunch. That would have been cool. Um, got the flaps right here. Got the yellow. Got a metal silver as well. Nice ratchet out. Uh, legs. You can go full Van Dam all day, every day. Kick up to about right there. Kick back. You got a thigh swivel. Looks good. Uh, nice uh, ratcheted knees. You only get 90 degrees. Kind of wish you get a little more than that. And then the feet. You can move the got a drop down so you can go up. Nice ratchets there too as well. Down. And you got a nice uh, rocket, uh, rocker. So very nice. Got the red, got metal silver or got metal gray, green. Got that uh, four screen looks good. The back, uh, the pack, you know, you do got a big backpack and everything when you got a lot of flip flaps and everything. Uh, but I think it cleans up pretty decent, you know, for what, you know, how big the uh, canopy was. Um, so yeah, just you do have a backpack. So, but they don't move really move that well. I mean, you can move it a little bit, but. It's really supposed to be stationary and everything. Oh, and be wary if you do grab it in this spot right here. You know, if you grab it real hard, it will start to uh, untab this right here at his neck and everything. So just be wary of that. It's supposed to clip under there at the base, but it doesn't clip that well then. So just be wary of that. All right. Same thing with uh, with the weapon. You got you know most masterpiece. You got a tab. You got a little slot. Right, tab and slot. You can go right there. So there you go. And also it's got the uh, infernal thing. So what you do is you can pull this out. Uh, you can push this out right back here and <clears throat> push that out like that. And then you can open this. You're supposed to open this right here. I don't know if I can get into it or not. Let's see if I can get this. Golly, come on now. Anyways, you're supposed to open this up right here like that. There you go. And then you can turn this around. I think you can do that like that. And go in there. And there you go. And it will close up a little better. I'll have to fix it. It will close a lot better than that. Um, but I wish they really missed uh, where they gave him the wrecking ball or his, uh, you know, his... Um, um, his wrecking ball or you know he could have gave him a you know a melee weapon you know because i mean they could have took this out and uh, gave him the melee weapon and uh because i just i mean it goes with inferno but i just don't think it really goes with bulkhead at all oh real quick for correction um so with the nozzle if you push it in and twist it it will stay locked in i couldn't get to lock in at one point so if you do that uh you can but it still does not close i mean you still you can hear that but it's still yeah so that's pretty bad and i forgot to mention the jaw does move up and down uh on the head so i didn't mention that so yeah i just want to point that out that yeah that's not very good all right there he is next to mp44 optimus prime you got medigate shatter up there then you got x transbots uh runabout and run amok and then you got uh one of the mp car sideswipe then sideswipe from generation toy and then tits mcgee redgar scale
And crappy guns, crappy toilet paper, AAA battery, Carmex, Care Bears, Kicker and Squeaks, more scale. Well, hey there, everybody. If you made this far, really appreciate that. And uh, let's uh, final thoughts on X Transbot's bulkhead. Man, overall, I really, really like him, man. I really do. The design and everything, I like it all about it. I wish they would do more animated into the G1 kind of versions. Um, and uh, X Transbot's, man, I don't say, you know, I really don't say it a lot about them, but. I really think they could be a good company, a great company, if they, you know, they just tried so once in a while. X Transbots being X Transbots, but I think they could be on the fans toys level. Um, but sometimes they just don't do right. But this one really like. Now they do have it does have some issues. Main uh, issues I have there's two main issues is the uh, the hands they don't tab in that well, so that's a you know a problem with mine. And I wish they would have took the holes off, you know, the nozzle off, you know, for Inferno because it matches Inferno but not Bulkhead, and gave him a melee weapon. We gave him the Wrecking Ball. That would have been really cool, you know, take that off, but they didn't. So, but other than that, love the alt mode. It looks good. The carrier mode looks very nice. I love the details of the, you know, the tools on the side with the ax and everything. They painted that and everything. That's really cool. Uh, so I like that. Uh, transformation, you know, it is over engineered, especially in the back with the uh, canopy and all that stuff. Uh, but once you do it a couple of times, it, it gets a lot easier. But, you know, the first time, you know, I'd say be careful. Um, you know, you may scratch up the paint. The paint on this is spectacular, just like always with X Transbots. The, you know the forest green. You got the um, you know the orange here and there, gunmetal silver. Uh, you got the chrome right there on the top. Really great job. But like I said, be careful with great paint comes great scratches. So just be careful with that, especially when you're transforming the arms from the back. You've got to move it around this little arm, this little area right here. You may scratch it up. Um, luckily, I did not do mine, but just be careful with that. But yeah, the paint is just great. Love the head sculpt. Looks good. I wish it would have been the new age one, but you know, I'm not, I don't hate this one. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, materials feel good. It's got a, you know, great weight to it. It's got some, uh, you know, die cast throughout the feet. I think are all die cast, great weight to it. Articulation, wish it had an ad crunch. Other than that, you know, you know, same on parts, you know, most stuff is or anything, but yeah, it really needs an ad crunch. Um, the weapon, you know, it's cool. The gun, you can, I didn't mention that, but there's two slots up here. You can put the gun up here if you want to and have a shoulder cannon. You know, here that you have that option, uh, but yeah, I like it. It's really fun. Like I said, I've never messed with the mold before, but uh, I may get there in front. I may try it out. I don't know for sure. I don't know if I need. I, I have the MP one. I don't know if I really need it, but this guy, I like it. I like the way it looks. Like I said, I wish they would do more of these. That'd be pretty cool. I would wish. I just wish you would have his wrecking ball. That would be awesome. But yeah, uh, yeah, that'd be it. So uh, let me hit hit me up some like, shares, furs, and care bears. Hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Give me up some comments, some of these other review. I know he's been out for almost a year. If you have this guy already, I got this on BBTS for like 80 bucks. I think that's a good deal. So uh, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely look this guy up, definitely. So yeah, uh, I guess I'll see you in the next Transformer review. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Transformers and hell freaking X-Transbots. Yeah, I said that. About time. Good night, folks.